Hey guys, hello, hello, hello. It's your girl, Miss Debs. I'm coming to you from my kitchen, Deborah's Delicious Dishes Kitchen here in Orange, New Jersey. Guys, I have a small haul. I just went to go pick up some orange juice and tea. But um, when I went in the store, they had a couple of items and it's, it was this recipe I wanted to make tonight. So I'm going to show you the recipe ingredients first and then I'll do. The haul is very small, but even so, grateful to have a haul. Okay. So I'm going to make the State Street um, chicken breast. Then I'm going to use some flour tortillas. Then I'm going to use, and it's from Tio Santi. So I have the um, flour tortillas and then, my shadow is in the way. Then I have the corn tostados. That's going to go on the mill as well. I'm going to use this beer batter seasoning. It says it's for seafood, but you can use it for any type of uh, meat. And I have a can of beer over here. What did I do? Oh, right. The can of beer is for the beer batter. So I just ran to the corner of the liquor store and got that. Then it's going to have sharp cheese on the sandwich. Zesty ranch dressing. It's like a dipping sauce, but it's going on the sandwich that I'm making. And the cayenne hot pepper sauce. I wanted this one in particular because it's real good for what I'm making. Green onions going to be sliced on top of the sandwich. And these... um pickles these oval cut pickles that all came from save a lot and then we're going to have some craft here you know i love my mccain's brand fries beer batter these are going to be the um battered onion rings so we're going to use that so that's all for the mill on that side right there then here i picked up three of these pizza crusts from save a lot because they are so good i made a pizza with those one day and that's the bag from save a lot then I just brought me a beef smoked sausage because sometime I have that urge to have a sausage. And I got these um, oodles, these ramen noodles for my grandbaby Harmony because she loved those when she come over. Then I just got my Swiss sweetened iced tea and some orange juice. This is only $3.99 or $3.49, but I think they went up $3.99. I noticed that when I went, yeah, they went up 50 cents. And um, the tea is only one seventy nine. And when I tell you guys, this is one of the best teas, sweet teas I have tasted. Then I brought a um, lettuce. Oh, the lettuce is going on the sandwich as well. So I'll put that over there. Then, guys, check this out. They had these on sale, and I got these for my grandbabies. Um, their General Mills cereal were on sale for only one ninety nine. And this, and my grandbabies love this, especially Nyla. This is the... Um, Trick Trolls World Tour marshmallows that was one ninety nine and it's a nine point seven ounce box so that was a deal and then over here I don't know how the boxes are the same size but they're different sizes and net weight I guess anyway um this is the cinnamon toast crunch the cherries I brought this before and this is eleven point nine ounce box only one ninety nine. And this right here is a 10.9 ounce box. And this is Kisses cereal from Hershey's. And that was $1.99. So I jumped on them because I said the grandbabies come up some weekends when I don't feel like cooking. So they'll have that. So that is my haul. And like I said, it's a small haul. But I'm so grateful to God for the haul. And um, I'm doing pretty good in my food pantry, guys. I've been using things from the food pantry. So I'm so proud of myself for that. So. I really am. I mean, I do a little odds and ends sometime. I'm not going to lie, but the pantry is doing pretty good. I don't know if I want to open it up. It's probably jumping in. But anyway, yeah, so I'm getting some things off of them shelves. I mean, really, I am. So, yeah, I'm getting some things off of them shelves. So, it's, it's doing pretty good, and I'm rotating, so that's a good thing. So, okay, so I'm going to show you guys this recipe. It's a chicken breast. And it's like, uh, you know, the Taco Supremes that you get from um, Taco Bell? Well, this is going to be a chicken one, and it's going to have the tostados on it wrapped in the flour tortilla. And it's going to have, um, I'm going to batter the chicken. I'm going to season it up with my pepperoncini, my seasoning, sassons, you know what I do, the uh, perfect pinch seasoning. Then I'm going to dip it in this beer batter. I'm going to mix the beer and the batter together. I'm going to dip my chicken in there. I'm going to fry it. Then I'm going to put the lettuce, pickles, onions, and the cheese on top. And we're going to melt it. You'll see how it comes along. Okay, guys? All right. See you in a few. 
Guys, we also got a milk. I had put that in the freezer when I first came in the refrigerator. And also we have three cases of water. And the water was on, on sale for $1.99 for 20 bottles. So I got three cases of those. And the total came up to $52.66, which wasn't bad. Guys, so I did the package of the beer batter. That's why sometimes you can't really go according to the amount and measurements that they say. I normally try to eyeball stuff, but sometimes... Anyway, the package called for the whole packet of beer batter uh, mix, right? And I did read the ingredients. There's no seafood in here. It just so happened they're saying that this is a seafood batter mix, but you can use it for anything. Just wanted to tell you that. But anyway, on the back of the package, it called for one cup of beer, which I did, used my measuring cup, one cup, and I put the packet of beer batter in here. But it came out to like a clumpy consistency. So that lets me know I have to add more beer. So let's see how that goes. I think I'm going to need that whole can. Just wanted to let you know that. And also I came back on to show you that bacon bits are going to be on this sandwich as well. You'll see how it comes together. Guys, so real quick, that is the chicken golden frying. And that is my um, tortilla. So what I'm doing, I'm just putting a little crust on those. You're going to see the madness that's happening over here <laughs> in Miss Dad's kitchen. Okay, I have the onion rings in the air fryer. Chicken is done here. I have my sauce that I mixed together, that cayenne hot sauce and the zesty ranch dipping sauce. So I mixed that together, heated it up. I'm going to dip my chicken in there, and then I'm going to assemble the... um double crunch taco <laughs> guys so that's the chicken so I'm going to take it and dip it inside of this hot ranch dressing sauce that was made you just want to coat your chicken that's all okay we're going to take that out and you'll see me assemble it Okay, guys, so now I have my chicken dipped in that bark, that hot sauce and ranch dipping. Then I'm going to add my chicken right here. Then I'm going to add a slice of cheese. Then we're going to add some lettuce on top of this, just a little. Then we're going to put our tomato, pickle, a little bacon and a little green onion. And I'm gonna take it to the frying pan. I'm assembling this one. I noticed my chicken was too thick, so I split it in half. I have my cheddar cheese on the bottom of the tortilla, then the chicken, then the crunchy wrap. Then I'm gonna add some lettuce. I'm gonna need a couple of pieces of lettuce. Then we're gonna do our tomatoes. Because tomatoes go with lettuce. Then we're going to do our bacon bits. Then we're going to add the pickles and the onions. Then we're going to put another one on top. Crunch that bad boy and then we're going to put it in the frying pan. Guys, this is Miss Deb's crispy chicken super crunchy taco sandwich. It has the soft taco shell, and then it has the tostada. Then these are my onion rings on the side. And on top of the chicken breast, we have that special sauce. Hot sauce with zesty ranch dressing dipping sauce. Then we put some pickles on it, cherry tomatoes cut in half, some green onions and cheddar cheese sliced on the bottom, and bacon. And this is what my boys are having today for their dinner. Not too healthy today, but... It's, they're eating. <laughs> so um, this is what I made and I hope you guys will enjoy this recipe because it tastes the bomb. Thank you guys for joining me. Give an honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because he's so worthy to be acknowledged and praised. God, I give you all the glory. I thank you for all. Thank you for protecting me from the seen and the unseen dangers. God bless you, everyone. Have a beautiful beautiful day. May God bless you and may heaven smile down upon you.